Now, I would like to route the traffic from when I go on browser supritsa.com. I would like to route the traffic to AWS EC2 instance service. How do we achieve this? So, to do that, we need to go on EC2, I mean, AWS console root 53. Once we are on route 53, we need to create a create hosted zone. So let's create a hosted zone. In this demonstration, I'm just going to write a domain address that is what I own, but I'm not going to add a records because it will mess things up. So here is my domain address. Just simply click on create hosted zone. Once the hosted zone is created, you can click on create record. For the first one, we are going to create a record and we are going to keep subdomain empty. For this IP address, what we are going to do is we go to EC2 instance, copy the public IP address here and paste here. Now I'm not going to create this record because it will mess up the domain and the routing for my existing domain address that I created, which I'll demonstrate at the end of the video. Just click on create records. That will create one record here. Now the second record, we are going to create a C record. The first one was A record, second one is C record. So for the second record, we are going to create www.coupleonawiki.com. In this value, so let's first select C name here and we want to route the traffic. So as you can see, there's an example here. The first one has an IP address, the second one has www.example.com but in this case we are going to keep copy the same thing make sure there is no leading and trailing spaces here so as you can see and then simply click on do not change anything else here routing policy and all those things create records so that's pretty much it once you create that hosted zone you should be able to this this Third step we are going to do is we copy this all DNS, go to GoDaddy, manage domain. If you have more than one domain, go to manage domain, click on your domain, go to name servers. Within the name servers, as you can see, I have already added here. But how would you add it? So click on change name servers, click on add name servers, click one more, one more here, and then simply save it. Once these are the only configuration steps required to route the traffic from your domain address to EC2 instance. So let's test it out. I have created a hosted zone. Let me delete this hosted, hosted zone in the meantime. But you can see here what I have. So I'm just going to copy this address. This is the endpoint. Notice that it connected to AWS EC2 instance and returned the data. On the top, you can see this is not secure right now. However, I am able to make the connection because I created self signed certificate. But in the next video, what we are going to do is we are going to use the Let's Encrypt service and we are going to generate our own SSL certificate to secure the domain. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it and please subscribe and comment below. See you in the next video.